Hi, I'm Ian Wells, the Executive Director of Schools for the West Highlands Ranch Region. Hi, I'm John Gutierrez, the Executive Director of School for East Highlands Ranch. Together, John and I oversee the amazing schools that make up all the Highlands Ranch feeder area system. That includes areas like Castle Pines, Lone Tree, Solstice, Sterling Ranch, and Roxborough. Recently, you may have heard Superintendent Aaron Kane talk about the funding challenges in our district. But what does that mean for the Highlands Ranch area? It's easy to assume with home prices being high, lots of new construction, that property taxes would go to help our schools. Unfortunately, that's not how the School Finance Act works. Think of school funding like a bucket. When local funding goes up, the state contributes less to fill that bucket. We can change the size of our bucket with a mill levy override and bond. In some areas, such as Sterling Ranch, Castle Pines, and Lone Tree, it seems anywhere you look, new homes are being built. And that means more students are attending our schools in those areas. However, this leads to crowding, and some of our schools are already near or at capacity. Additional funding through a bond would enable DCSD to construct a new school in Sterling Ranch as well as the Canyons, which would help alleviate crowding in our schools. In other parts of Highlands Ranch, DCSD is actually dealing with declining enrollment. While we wish we could pick up a school on East Highlands Ranch and move it to Sterling Ranch, for example, it just doesn't work that way. But DCSD will be engaging in a process to address declining enrollment areas as well, so we have a three to five year plan developed with staff and community input. Now let's talk about our amazing teachers. The COVID pandemic created teacher hiring challenges across our nation. Here in DCSD, we want to keep our phenomenal teachers, but in order to do so, we need to be able to compete with our school districts in other areas. One of our neighboring school districts is paying teachers on average upwards of 18,000 more a year. As you can imagine, that pay increase is difficult to ignore, especially during tough economic times. Additional funds through a mill levy override will help our school district pay our employees in a competitive way. That means pay raises for our teachers, our support staff, and all positions in our district. That means right here in Highlands Ranch and all the surrounding areas. We hope we can count on you to learn more about how schools are funded. Please visit our website.